Hi everyone, I'm Melissa McKay. I am with JFrog, a developer advocate, and I'm sitting here today at JFocus in Sweden, Stockholm, Sweden, with Matthias Carlsen. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Awesome. Yeah, a little Good. bit tired. I'm getting a little bit tired. Yep, I mean, we're full throws on the second day here of yeah. JFocus, um, plus a day of, of workshops and yes. stuff. So we did a Monday workshop first, and then uh, the conference started yesterday. So, but it's now it's lunch, so it's only half day left, and yeah. we can uh, then we can rest. Yes, yes, it's been a busy, busy week. Uh, lots of things to do, full of activities, full of talks, and everything. Um, for everyone who doesn't know, Matthias, would you like to tell everyone who you are? Yes. So my name is Matthias Colson. Uh, I've been in the Java community since mid nineties, I guess. Uh, done different roles, being a developer, being a manager, CTO of a small startup company. And I've also been running the Java user group here in Stockholm since uh, since 2000, maybe something like that, almost 20 years now. And uh, a little more than 15 years ago, we founded this conference called J Focus, uh, and uh, well, we have been developing it and, and growing since since then. Amazing. Well, I have to say you've done an incredible job. This is my second time. At J Focus, and but my first time in Stockholm, Sweden, because last year we did this virtually, right? Yes. yes. So oh. talk to me a little bit about that. What's oh the my difference God. for you in yeah. all of your experience? So I guess people that might recognize me, the, the last time they did, they did see me, I had like black hair, <laughs> but, but these days I have gray hair. <laughs> so I mean, uh, the the pandemic thing was a it was a hassle, and it, I mean. We were doing the virtual conference in 2021, and it was a lot, a lot of hard work, uh, and very, very li little feedback on that. So I mean, we were like, yeah, like everybody else, doing it uh, online. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we we had a pretty good turnout for that as well. So we have about 1,000 attendees for the virtual okay. sessions, and uh, we did a one-day conference back then. Uh, and uh, but it's it's. It's good to be back, I guess. Yeah. Yes. So we do hear a lot of talk about how difficult the virtual frameworks yeah. and you know getting all of that set up was. But I'm going to ask you something a little bit different. Yeah. What were your biggest challenges coming back in person oh. this year? I, I guess I would say the biggest challenge was to 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 know when. So so this is in May, right? So the date today is it's it's Star Wars date. Yes. So. May the today fourth is the, be with you. Yeah, yes. today is May the fourth. <laughs> uh, but uh, J Focus normally is the first week of February, so at least in Sweden, it looks like the pandemic was more or less gone in September. So everything was planned up for doing the conference in the normal time frame of the year, so February. Uh, so we were actually sold out the conference in uh, early November, and uh, then we had a little bit of a hiccup, right? So. Um, in, uh, in mid-December, Sweden closed again with full restrictions and, you know, we, we were not allowed to do the conference with COVID passes or anything. I mean, we were like super restricted for, for over, like, to mid, like, basically up to, uh, to end of March, I guess, but that was communicated early. So, so uh, but we were a bit lucky, so we already had booked uh, backup dates for May. So, uh, and most other didn't, so, uh, and it, it was really hard to keep these dates, uh, but, um, so I think the biggest challenge to, of coming back was to, to actually know when, and, yeah. and to plan for that, and I, 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 I mean, for our friends in Norway, they had, they had a big plan for everything also set up, but they cancelled like the week before because of, of new restrictions, so that was painful for them, uh, so that was the, yeah, biggest, well, I guess, and, and I also say, the second biggest challenge is that that uh, it seems like it's everything is new again. So people haven't been working out for two and a half years. So this is true. Yeah. a lot of us, uh, I mean, we think we know how we run conferences and the staff here think that everything should work as normal. But in reality, there is a lot of things that need to be, you know, worked through again and again, and again, to make sure that it's up to par. Wow. Well, you've pulled it off because I didn't notice anything of this at all. Uh, this has been amazing, yeah. amazing experience. I guess you see the illustration with the duck, right? Yes. So the duck yes. flows, <laughs> it looks calm, but under the surface, like, 
<laughs> yes. And I think it has been, been like that this year. Wow. Yeah. Well, any thoughts in the future? Do you think you would continue to hold J-Focus in May? Do you think you, again? To hold J-Focus in May? Again? Oh, yeah, we get requests from that, especially from speakers that like <laughs> Stockholm in May. But, yes. um, <laughs> but uh, on the other hand, the good thing about doing it in February is that when we get our friends over from Brazil, for instance, they see snow and they're super excited about that. And it's dark and people are also staying inside. And now we have beautiful weather and warm in Stockholm and people really want to go out. Yes. And, and uh, so, so not, nothing yet decided. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. That makes sense. And yeah. you can have fun in both experiences yeah. Yeah. too. I suppose and this we do year, a lot of snow Even activities. if we did online last year, uh, we're also doing, actually doing hybrid events this year. So we have uh, attendees also that are watching the sessions online. So we, we do a hybrid conference this year. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, this is an amazing venue. Uh, you have it in the same place yes, every time? Yes, we have been here uh, for at least, uh, uh, at least around 10 years we have been in the same venue. Yeah. yeah, very convenient, very nice, uh, especially for speakers yeah. to be able to, you know, be yeah, in the hotel the conference next center door. and the hotel and then the train station and then the, uh, exactly. the airport, like, connected. Exactly. I remember getting emails um, explaining how to get here, yeah. and I didn't believe you that it was going to be that easy, but it was. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, got uh, arrived at the airport immediately on the train uh, and found my and way And still right we're here. in the center of Stockholm, so you can just walk yes. over a five-minute walk to the old town. And everything so that's great yeah absolutely, absolutely. amazing well something else I'd, I'd love to hear mm -hmm. about is um, after I gave my talk earlier yesterday um, I was given a speaker's gift mm. and this is it right here and this speaker's gift is a, a gift to support Ukraine and I thought that was really clever tell yeah. me what you were inspired to do this and, yeah so we have been doing that kind of speakers here for, for a number of years. So instead of having, you know, I don't know, you know, a, a bottle of wine or a book or something that is, uh, you could have a, you know, book of Stockholm would be a very good speakers gift as well. True. Uh, but we're trying to like, um, I guess I was super inspired by a movie back in the days called uh, uh, Pay It Forward. Do you know Pay It Forward? Yes, it's a beautiful I'm very concept. familiar with that. Maybe this is not the same, but... But we try to do a little bit by, by giving away things to, to others. So this year it was pretty obvious. So the speaker's gift is a, a package for, for kids uh, in, in Ukraine. But on top of that, we actually together with a foundation called Achelius Foundation. So they were ma matching all of the donations we were doing. So we also donated all of the feeds from the online attendees. Uh -huh. to, so we actually uh, donated about quarter of a million Swedish uh, kroners to to support uh, Ukraine in the war. Amazing. Yeah, very, very nice gift. I was really impressed. Yeah. Really like that idea. Um, so what do you have planned after the conference? Do you have anything fun? To, some downtime for yourself after like, oh, organizing this well, and taking you, care of everyone? So usually, uh, so I, need to, I need to sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so basically, so I, I will looking a little bit on, on my watch. So, I mean, this Monday I walked 30,000 steps. Oh, wow. And it has yeah. been pretty much the same for the two, two more days. And, and very little sleep because of all the tension. So, I will definitely have a week of relaxation and, and take it easy. And uh, then we'll see. Then, then we kind of start over start again. Start planning for the next one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, this, is, this has definitely been incredible. Like I said, my first time in mm -hmm. Stockholm. So this is it was great experience. having you. I mean, I mean the, 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 the idea with the conference is the speakers, and we have had amazing speakers. So, I mean, we have been lucky that we, I mean, that's one of the good things about being a little bit more well recognized that we get great speakers. So, I mean, we had a great keynote with Dylan, we did a great talk, and we have, I mean, overall, almost all speakers, I mean, all speakers are brilliant. So, it's yeah. a, it has been really good. So. Uh, with all that you are responsible for here, have you had a chance to step in and, and listen to any of the talks that have happened? Yes, yes. I have uh, been to a few talks. I actually, I try to do that at least. Uh, there's uh, some extra ones that I'm curious about, so I've been attending. I don't, re I don't want to relieve it because then uh, suddenly they are. <laughs> why yes. would they? Why did, so may I was in your talk. Yeah, great. <laughs> Good. Um, I noticed uh, there's definitely like some recording going yeah. on in yes. some of the 
the rooms. So these will all be available after the conference. For yes. Those? So there will be some post processing, but uh, within a couple of weeks, uh, you will be able to find the recordings on on YouTube. Excellent. So. Excellent. Yeah. And I see you have all the past recordings too. I yeah. actually started uh, watching some of those in the past. Yeah, uh, I think we have really recordings from topics. like I don't know, maybe five, ten years back. So we, you know. Everything is there, but they, I guess uh, they are getting older. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not that relevant to any, anymore. Yeah. Well, uh, it's still nice to go back and, yeah. and do some exploring on those topics. It's amazing. Well, um, you have a, a very busy place right now. We're in the middle of lunch right yes. now, and the, the catering has been wonderful. The food is amazing. Um, this is this is really nice. Are you uh, impressed with the numbers as far as how many people have come back? Yes. Um, I would say that. Um, uh, I guess, I guess people are, uh, you know, really want to come back to do conferences again, I, and uh, I think that has been a little bit different also in different countries and different conferences, depending on you know how they were affected by the pandemic. Uh, but we basically do see the same number, so we are about 1,600 now. So we're a little bit fewer than last year, but 1,600 attendees and almost 2,000 in two total with uh, exhibitors and speakers, so, so yeah, so it has been great, awesome. it's full. Yes, yes, well I know I'm happy to be back too, um, I hope to come to J Focus again in the future, I'm yes. excited, uh, this will be... I'm glad you enjoyed it and I'm glad you enjoyed Stockholm. Yes, uh. <laughs> who couldn't, uh. who couldn't enjoy Stockholm? City on the water, it's just beautiful here, I wish you, you could see the view that I can see sitting here, um, but if you can't see that view, you need to come to J Focus next year when I'm sure we're going to have yes, this again. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and book early before we sell out. Yes, definitely, because that will happen. Okay, well, thank you very much, Matthias. This was a pleasure talking with you. I'm glad that you were able to give us some time, let us know how things are going for you, and um, we'll hope to talk to you again soon. Thank you very much. All right.